Okay. Welcome to the Whiskey Ball. I'm Daniel. No, he's not. We have a little bit of a moment here. Lies and slander. It's true. Yes. So, uh, a while ago, long enough that we were up there. Okay. We reviewed this. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a long time ago. Right? Basically the first Whiskey Vault room we were in. Yes. So we reviewed this uh, distillery in Bavaria. Okay. In Germ a German distillery. Yes. Sleers. Okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, did not like it enough that the screen capture shot of us trying it has us doing this. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like the thumbnail. So, okay, okay. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But hey. I do not want to establish, I do not want to establish that our impression of a whiskey can be summed up by the thumbnail. Because that's not what Dan is no, using. That's not what Dan is using for thumbnails. No. He's just looking for an expression. So if you see us going, oh, doesn't mean we love it. And we see that. Yeah. Okay, if we see that, then but maybe we probably was, don't like it. This was real. We didn't like it. Oh, yeah, I don't I have no memory of It was this. very, very musty, barnyardy funk, that new malt craft thing to, sure. ten, to 10, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, after then, a guy named Nick Bender, yes. uh, who is a rep for Slayers, okay. was like, hey, I'm a huge fan. Okay. Great. Love your show. Yes. Ah, side note, yep. uh, stumbled onto your video. Super disappointed yeah. that you guys didn't like it. Should have paid us more. And I feel like it's really hurting. Is there anything I can do to send you something I, I like? I think you might like. And I was like, right. look, man, we can't make any promises. Right. But so is this a year ago now? He sent us this bottle, single malt whiskey, fifty-one percent, fifty-one percent, fifty-one. Yeah, right. Okay. So what does he think is going to be different from? I, I don't know. Because I know that's, now, you know, if it's not a monstrously large distillery with a lot of scale, then there are recognizable differences from year to year. So he's definitely a rep. Sure. If you want to. Oh, that, that, so two things make this weird. One, he's a rep, so we must acknowledge the repidness with. Mm -hmm. Crickets. Uh, and then also the fact that he's a fan. It's like, gosh, oh, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, we got we to we, we do what we got to do. We did establish. But whenever I we're find. We're not gods of whiskey. Oh, no, like, it's an on. opinion. Hold on. Well, Rex is not a god of whiskey. Hold on. I am definitely a god <laughs> of whiskey. Uh, it is weird, though, whenever you know that somebody has a vested interest in a brand and you just are not enjoying it, you don't like it. Yeah. And, uh, so, as we've established, what I try to do is if I don't like something personally, mm -hmm. uh, this is why I am a better reviewer than you, then I at least, <laughs> at least try to imagine, is there somebody that this is good for? So I'm going to do that with this. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, uh, I will say this is a, uh, according to Nick, yes. this was not just uh, their normal casks that they use, but also port, sherry, and sauterne. Okay. Or as the wine people pronounce it, sauternus. Sauternus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, barnyard hay, man. A little less barnyardy than the last but one, it's a sweet, but it's still very much it's a barnyard, very barnyard hay. hay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's not like, like, animal excrement in here. We're talking about <laughs> talking about in a barn, <laughs> and it's a contained space, and you can get like the humidity that's captured in this this building. It's like a humid hay type of. Vibe. Yes. Yeah. It's a little, a little vegetal on the nose. Sweet, humid hay packed in a barn on a hot summer's that day. That was the been... one that we tried on the last review. Okay. They're diff I can appreciate how different they are, but I think the notes that we were getting yeah. on that, it kind of tracks, you know? Yeah. It is still like, like, look, if you, there's that note in monkey shoulder mm -hmm. that is baby sick slash slight malt funkiness that a lot of people really hate about monkey shoulder yeah and a monkey shoulder it's tamped down a little here it's kind of turned up so i'm going to say this the first one there's actually more of a sweet maltiness mm -hmm. in the first one we reviewed comparatively comparatively and this one it's a little bit um more dense and rich with that humid hay notes and there's like a nuttiness in the background which yeah, I enjoy the nuttiness, but I'm not really feeling the quasi vegetal humid hay. Yeah, it still has that funk. And it's definitely, it definitely is damp hay, but it's mixed with some, like a, like not dark fruits, but like. Could it be a, like a craft cola? Almost rose. Hmm? Like a sweet floral fruit. Notes. Okay. And so, the direct, fruit in the direction of floral. I'm not in love with the nose. The, from the first one and the second one, they're recognizably. 
uh, related but different. It's not mm -hmm. the same whiskey. We're not doing a review of the exact same thing again, so I appreciate that. But And there's a caramel note. finally shows up after you live with it for a while. There's a dark caramel candy. I'm going in. Oh, I like the palate. Yeah, I like the taste better. It's very simple caramel with a little bitey. I'm guessing that's the alcohol. A little bit uh, bitey, not quite tannin, but you know, a got, sharp note. I got a, I got a bourbon honey. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Very much honey. Yeah. And none of the vegetal hay notes that I'm getting on the nose are in the palate. It's all this like caramelized sugars. Yeah. So I got to tell you, I got to tell you uh, the nose. I was like, yeah, it, it's it's still there. Yeah. Well, on the taste though, this mm -hmm. is. Night, dude, it does not track with the nose. It is very different than the nose. If you like the really grain, barley forward, musty note in a space side scotch that's mostly bourbon cask finished. Yeah, because the bourbon honey does show up. This would be right up your alley. The taste. But I can't recommend the nose. Still not my favorite thing. Because I personally don't enjoy the nose. I'm trying to think what kind of whiskey drinkers have I met that would really appreciate that damp hay because that's the front leading note for me. It is front and center. Um, but the taste though, once you get into the flavor, here's a lot of, it's surprising to me because the things that I like about this, uh -huh. I'm finding a lot of similarity to the things that I like about some craft American whiskeys. Yeah, but, but it's the barley not. forward is very different. And oh, it is a very consolidated, dense palate yeah. into that honey sweetness. There's not a lot of journey. There's just this really, dense, rich presentation of caramelized sweetness and slight fruit. Tiniest bit of graham cracker yeah. in there too. Yeah. So, yeah. Taste is worth trying. What's weird is go back and this smells a little bit more like a Irish whiskey all of a sudden. Comparatively, yeah. 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 The AB, man. It's bizarre. There's actually more going on in this one. Mm -hmm. like it's giving you more layers and more complexity in this new one we just opened. Yeah. Interesting. This doesn't smell as funky as Compared I remember to, it being. Well, again. Oh, there it is. It's in the aftertaste. It's at the very, very end. On the nose, mm -hmm. the difference between the first one that we did and this one, this one was more of like the barnyard damp hay. Mm -hmm. The older one, the original one, was more of like that sweet maltiness. Yeah, but you get. musty. Yeah. We got Jeremy the Rhino, Whiskey Tribe Bar in Austin. I am back home in Austin after many years out of state. Where is the Whiskey Tribe Bar? I want to go. So it's <laughs> the Crowded Barrel in uh, very South Austin. So it's basically the end of 290, not the end of 290, way down 290, about as far as you can go. Not 290. Was it 1826? <laughs> yeah, on the way to Salt Lake Barbecue. Yeah, just do Crowded yeah. Barrel, and you're going to go into deep South Austin. Yeah. Uh, there used to be a lot of woods just kind of way out in the sticks. Now you look out the window and there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses. Hello, Austin found us. <laughs> they caught up to us. Yes, they did. Uh, Robert Mitchell, hey Daniel, here are some additional content ideas for you when you don't like a whiskey very much. One, what would you do to fix a whiskey like this? Oh, that's yeah, because I did that with brimstone. Like I didn't like brimstone, but it turns out when I added it in a tiny dash to an Irish whiskey, it right. was awesome. Okay. Because it was uh, it was basically like having Conmara. <laughs> Two, is there another whiskey you could blend with this one to improve it? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, three, what foods do you think would pair well with the whiskey like oh, if this? I don't like it, I would with skip With a turtle. vegetal note, a mm. hollandaise sauce? No, 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 no. Like, like, if I don't like it as it is, I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to try to pair food with it. Yeah, yeah. But, but I love the idea of blending, blending it. To improve blending the yeah, I like, I like that, that idea. I like that too. You know what? The taste, I... I am, I, I like it a lot better than the nose. Yeah. But I so don't like the nose. Yeah. I could only like it better. Yeah. 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 But thank you for watching. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Nick, it wasn't literally a. Hi. Hi. I, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, no, you just got to do your best, man. Yeah. Just do your job and. Okay. You're bad and you should feel bad. It's basically how I manage employees. Yeah. If they do good, just like, well, that should have happened. And if they yeah. mess up, you're bad. That shouldn't have happened. And you should feel bad. Somebody's trying to break mm -hmm. that. Uh, here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. Oh, God. Hang on. If you fight, may you fight, fight for, for a, a friend. If you day. steal, may you steal. Get out! Get, yeah, and, and if, if you, you drink, drink may, may you drink with us. us. That was horrible.